This past weekend, I was able to fend for all three days at an artist alley. Is that exciting? Selling my art and promoting myself continuously for three days. Hmm? What was the con? Oh, it's, it's not, it's not important. You know, we, we don't need to worry about that. Don't, 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 don't look at that. Don't. Vancouver 2024 was honestly such a joy to vend at. Everybody was super nice both in and out of the artist alley and I thought I'd take a second and just talk about it and how much I enjoyed the con. I, I, I'm not furry though. I'm not Now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so if you couldn't tell that first bit was scripted which I have repeatedly said I do not enjoy, despite being a writer. So I'm just gonna talk out of my ass now. And just talk about my experience with Vancouver because I did this with Annie Rebo, where I did a little post-mortem-ish thing, just to give my experience ending for the first time. And I guess it's kind of the same situation now because that was my first time vending not at all but that was my first time vending at a con and this was my first time vending not only since uh annie revo well i vended at a craft fair the year of annie revo but we don't talk about that craft fair but this is my first time vending for three days in a row and i just thought i'd talk about how that went so i applied for the artist alley uh, right as it booked, um, I got table three for Friday and Sunday, and I, I was happy with that at the time. I was like, yeah, okay, two days, that, I should be, I, that should be good, and guess what? I did pretty good on the Friday, and while I for sure got a table Friday, Sunday, they give you an option to do drop-ins if you get there early enough and if somebody drops out so <laughs> the con was held in a hotel that wasn't too far from where i live so i got there at 8 50 i think in the morning because uh signups opened at 10 in the morning and i wanted to make sure i was like there before everybody else there were like five people in front of me <laughs> To be fair, two of those uh, five people, they, they were already signed up, and one of them was there to help uh, one of the drop-ins sign, uh, sign up and set up, so it was all good. It, everything was working out, and I surprisingly got a booth. Me, uh, the two people in front of me got a booth, uh, I got my booth. I only got half a table for all three days, but honestly... I don't think I have enough for a full table at the moment, so I'm good. I was good with just half a table. And yeah, I did a lot better than Annie Revo. With Annie Revo, I don't know, remember if I brought this up, but I didn't make that much. I made like $10 in profit, which to be fair, uh, hold on, I'm getting up for a second. My poster's falling. But to be fair, Annie Revo... The booth was $90, so I made $100 worth in sales, but that means I only made $10 in profit. With Vancouver, if I'm going to be completely transparent about my earnings, it cost me $125 to vend there for all three days because you also need to register beforehand, and I made sure to register and get the early bird fees when it was still $50. So I believe I made around 240 in sales. I got a lot of commissions on Saturday and Sunday, which really bumped up my earnings. So I made I didn't make double my booth, but I got pretty close and I think if I just make more uh, products that cater towards the furry fandom, I could have maybe earned more. I th 
think I need to take my art less seriously when I make merchandise because I really want to make more stupid merch. I have these like animals with super wide eyes and the rats. I, my rats were like my best seller at the con and it's because they look stupid. It's because they look stupid. The shocked animals think, things I have, they look silly. And I think that what draws people in, and I want to make more silly things, I want to take my art less seriously, but I guess, like, in the back of my mind, I'm scared of what people will think of my art if I don't take it as seriously, but, yeah. I, that just developed into what I want to do with the future, and I guess that's why you're here, you want to know what I want to improve on. But yeah, Vancouver was fun. I got to hang out with two of my friends. We walked around a bit and I made some money. Yeah, it was fun. I was gonna vlog my experience, but I guess I got embarrassed because again, my friends were with me for a good portion of the time there. And I don't wanna just have like my camera out talking to my camera in front of them because I'm scared of them making fun of me. I know they wouldn't because specifically one of them documented a part of our grade 12 experience since it was for her final project so they wouldn't judge me but like that little thing in the back of my head makes it feel like they would but maybe maybe for my next con maybe i'll vlog my prep because the prep i spent a whole week prepping for this one just because of how nervous i was but yeah i'll i might vlog my prep from the next con. I'm on a wait list for one, so I don't know if I'm in or not. I'm hopefully in. I apply pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I am i don't have this part scripted, but I have little notes, and I think I burned through everything pretty quickly. The Again, the con was fun. I met so many people there, and I have so many new Discord friends. <laughs> it's great. What's not is... I'm sick. Funnily enough, not from COVID, because COVID was spreading around the artist alley. Specifically the artist alley, the only place I was in for a majority of the con. But also I guess it makes sense because the dealers then, they would make us wear masks when we walked around in there. And for the artist alley, they didn't give us masks. They didn't say it was mandatory to wear masks. Everybody had their fursuit heads off so they can look at stuff. So it kind of makes sense that the artist alley specifically would have something going around, but it's whatever. I didn't catch COVID, which thank God, I don't want to go through that again, but I caught a bug that was going around my house. It's just, it's, I'm coming down from it. I'm, I think I still sound a little nasally, but it'll, it'll fix itself. I'm, I'm resting. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was funny. And I think that's all I wanted to talk about with Vancouver. Just a little update because I don't have as much as I need to unpack with any Revo since this isn't my first con. Everybody was really nice. I love, I really enjoyed Vancouver. I could be cringe and free. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure by this point you've noticed that I'm not really drawing a furry. I'm in, I'm drawing something for a furry adjacent fandom. It's uh recently people have been posting about a certain tweet. <laughs> it's a really cute tweet. It's just Princess Cadence in like a beautiful wedding gown. It's uh obviously not the wedding gown that's with her toy but it's really nice she looks very pretty and the hair is styled and then it's just just this shit ass shining armor right next to her and i love it so much i think this is the fastest i've hopped onto an art trend if at all because i think i've only participated in a few art trends because usually they're for fandoms i'm not in so I, i'm not like invested in it but this one my Little Pony, it got me. It got me so bad. <laughs> but yes, I really like this one. I kind of want to do a video on My Little Pony one day, specifically my time in the fandom, because I was 11 when I entered the fandom, 11 to 12. 
So I was exposed to some shit. And yeah, I think talking about Rainbow Factory would be fun. <laughs> but yeah, I, that's all I had to say. And I think the speed paint should be done now. If not, I'll edit some things down. But yeah, let's go back to scripted, Mika. All in all, Vancouver was such a joy to be a part of. And again, I met some wonderful human beings while there. Genuinely, furries do not deserve the flack they get on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when they make such a welcoming environment for everybody there. And yeah. I'm not a furry, though. Hey, I don't usually talk in the credits, but I thought I'd just jump in for a second to mention that I'm holding a sale on my Etsy just to, like, burn through... Uh, a bunch of my stock because while well, I sold quite a bit in my opinion I still have so much because I'm stupid and I overstocked because <laughs> the bulk deals they got me and I'm like oh less for more don't mind if I do <laughs> sorry but yeah that I have a sale it's 20% off everything in my store and it ends today so if you're interested please, you can drop by and check it out I think that's all. Goodbye!